remember that it is already a battleground remember that krishna himself has tried the utmost to avert war he himself had gone as a messenger to the court of duryodhan and tried his best now all that is behind before war the right action is please try to prevent war war means a lot of suffering on the battlefield now you cannot act like a peacenik now you have to be an eagle not a dove now you must fight when we see darkness in someone hmm when we see darkness in someone even as i say this the sun has hardened even as i say this the sun has hardened now i wanted i wanted to show my darkness to the sun i was in a relationship with sun i was in a relationship with sun and i was full of darkness i decided to show my darkness to the sun so i went to the sun and said i'm going to share my darkness with you i'm going to show it to you the sun said welcome show your darkness to me i showed my darkness to sun the sun said where is the darkness i said but it was there okay i'll again show my darkness to you the sun shone on the darkness again and said where is the darkness i kept on trying to show my darkness to sun but i could never show my darkness to sun never wherever the sun was there was only brightness no darkness i came back i went to a dark dungeon hmm a dark and damp room right and there i checked for my darkness i checked whether my darkness is still alive and there i looked and the darkness was still there as dark as before can darkness ever show itself to someone who is not dark is there ever night for the sun has the sun ever seen darkness wherever the sun is there is only there is only light if the sun never sees darkness why do you see darkness even if you chase the sun with all the darkness of the world will you succeed in showing darkness to the sun the moment the sun turns its face towards darkness the darkness becomes bright if the sun never sees darkness why do you see darkness if the sun never sees darkness why do you see darkness all right tell me why does the sun never see darkness it is so bright that the moment darkness comes in front of it darkness becomes yeah. illuminated that is why the sun never sees darkness and you see darkness what does that tell about you darkness can show itself to you only if firstly you are dark 
the other can show his dark face to you only if you are dark if you are like the sun nobody can show his dark face to you even if he dares to he will find that his dark face is gone so if people come and show their evil faces to you if people are vicious with you and ugly and cunning what does that tell you about yourself a person can have many faces he chooses to show you one particular face does that tell about the person or does it equally tell about you hmm here i am available to talk on all kinds of matters hmm but you decide what you would be asking are you getting it no person will dare to gossip with you if he knows that you do not entertain gossip so if someone comes to gossip to you don't just point fingers at him it must tell you that he thinks of you as a gossip monger had he known that you have no inclination towards gossiping would he have cared or dared to come to you tell me please hmm if you see a lot of flies concentrated somewhere does that tell about the flies or does that tell about that place what does that tell about that place huh it's a place now should i go and register an fir against the flies i keep my house filthy the result is that it has been infested with flies all the flies come to have a vacation at my place and then i curse the flies must i curse the flies the way the world looks at me tells about the world and equally it tells about me are you getting it hmm there are ample stories of killers and murderers who were evil for the entire world but when they came in front of a teacher or a saint a buddha they simply kneeled down and prostrated they bowed down now why this fellow that was harassing the entire world comes to a buddha and surrenders why it only shows that the world 
has very little of the buddha in it had the world had something of the buddha in it the killer would not have looted the world have you heard the story of angulimal hmm have you heard no so he is a notorious killer hmm a dacoit who was not content with merely looting he would torture and kill his victims and he would cut off their fingers and run a thread through them and wear them as a garland around his neck that's why his name was angulimal now this fellow was a terror to the entire world people would cover and faint upon hearing his name hmm he was a master killer and one day the buddha in his own cool joy is passing through the jungle and angulimal says stop who are you the buddha does not even bother to answer angulimal is taken aback who is this fellow who is gutsy enough to not reply to me people wet their pants the moment they hear the word of angulimal songulimal so repeats i say who are you the buddha says coolly almost stylishly i am awake what is angulimal asking who are you and the buddha says i am awake dude and lightning strikes angulimal this happening to him for the first time he has seen all kinds of cowards small cowards and big cowards and medium cowards and rectangular cowards and hidden cowards and fat cowards and lean cowards but he has never seen a brave man and here is one brave man look at his response i am awake angulimal is forced to take note of this special man and buddha is not at all taking note of him buddha is walking his own composed gate songulimal so says stop i say the buddha doesn't stop he again shouts this is my last warning stop and the buddha now looks into his eyes and says son i stopped long back when will you stop son it's been long since i stopped but when will you stop and this angulimal who is a horror to the world crashes he falls at the buddha's feet Hmm? He wipes the Buddha's feet clean with his tears.
I am asking you, this face of Angulimal, that he shows to the Buddha and only to the Buddha, why did he not ever show it to anybody else in the world? There was said Tijorimal. What kind of face did Angulimal show to him? Show me the face of Angulimal when he is facing Tijorimal. What is the face? Show me, show me. <coughs> Angulimal is about to chop off his fingers. What kind of face will he have? How do you chop off somebody's fingers? <laughs> what kind of face? Huh? Do that, show that. Come on, come on. And how is Angulimal's face in front of Buddha? Show that face to me. Hmm? Show that face. He has melted down. His sword, can you visualize it melting down? Hmm? A sword that is melting down. Show that face to me. Gone, finished, evaporated. I am asking you, why does Angulimal show different faces to different people? Why does he have one face to show to Tijorimal and one face to show to the Buddha? Why? Why does Angulimal have two faces, two different faces? Ask. Okay, is Angulimal a good man? Obviously, he is a very good man if you look at the face he shows to the? Is Angulimal a bad man? Yes. Obviously, he is a very bad man if you look at the face he shows to? Yes. So, is he a good man or a bad man? Is he a good man or a bad man? Depends on the person. Depends on the person. He is talking to. So if you are a good man, what will you see? The good face of others. Because the others will be compelled to show you their... If you are sun, will you ever see darkness? If you are darkness, will you ever see sun? If others keep on showing only their bad faces to you, what does that tell you about yourself? Remember that Angulimal has a very beautiful face as well. But he would show it only to the one who is as beautiful as his beautiful face. Angulimal has a very very beautiful face. But to whom would he show that face? To a beautiful person. To a beautiful person. If you do not get to see the beautiful face of Angulimal, what does that tell about your face? Had Tijorimal been Buddha, would he have lost his fingers? Would he have needed to switch to toilet paper? And you know what? Tijorimal went back again because he is a businessman. He said, I have lost something. So might be I'll recover it by investing more. That's what a businessman does. If he loses something, he says, let me invest it a little here and there and recover the loss. So to recover his five lost fingers, he went back again to the jungle and lost the remaining five fingers. to be like the Buddha. Ah. 
good, right to the point. Hmm? I like it when young people just shoot it to the center, jackpot. How to be like the? Hmm. To be like someone, first of all, you will have to figure out what? What that person is like. If I say you should be like tuta tuta, how will you manage that? Hmm? How will you manage that? To be like tuta tuta, first have you, first of all you have to know tuta tuta. How do we do that? Here is a picture of Tuta Tuta in your hands. Watch his face. It's just that the picture is not really pictorial. The picture is verbal. Are you getting it? It is not showing you directly the face you want to see. Rather it is describing the face. So you have to apply your intelligence and figure out through words what a Buddha really is like. Every reading that you get here, every discussion that happens will bring you closer to the face of the Buddha. And I assure you, if your face is that of the Buddha, then nobody would ever show his ugly face to you. If you are beautiful, the world will present itself as beautiful to you. Hmm? The world is like a mirror. If you are beautiful, then what does the mirror show you? Beautiful. Beauty. Are you getting it? So if you see horrifying things in the world, don't break the mirror. Clean your face. You too are beautiful. It's just that you are wearing a lot of makeup, needless makeup. Hmm? So just clean your face, use a good towel and wipe off everything that you have covered yourself with. Let your sun shine. Hmm? We all are sun here. But we keep wearing a lot of dust and clouds and fog and what not. Hmm? What has happened to the sun right now? Has the sun gone somewhere? It's right there, but it's gone. Cloud. It's, it's cloud. yes, and that cloud is makeup. The opinions of others, the clutter that you have accumulated. Hmm? What the books have told us, what the TV has told us, what Facebook has told us, all that is dust and cloud. When dust and cloud are there, then sun will not shine in spite of being shiny. You will not look beautiful in spite of... And if you will not look beautiful, what will Angulimal show you? His ugly face. Now that's a double blunder. First of all, you are not looking beautiful. Secondly, you are not looking beautiful even though you are actually and you are paying for not looking beautiful when you should have actually been rewarded for being beautiful. Instead of rewards, what do you get? Punishment. Unnecessary punishment. This camp is there so that the Clouds clear away. This camp is there so that the dust can be wiped off. Unnecessarily, there is so much pollution in the sky. Do you like a polluted place? And when there is pollution, Sun is covered. 
Do you know what is the worth of pollution? A little smoke. Petty smoke. Worthless smoke is able to cover the great sun. That is the power of the petty. The power of the petty is called Maya. It is petty. So actually it has no power, but it has great power. It is petty, so it actually has no power, but it has great power. A little bit of smoke and you cannot see the magnificent, gigantic sun. Do you know the size of the sun? And you also know the size of the smoke cloud. Are they comparable? Hmm? Now come to an extreme example. A tiny dust particle, if it enters your eye, a tiny dust particle, if it enters your eye, will you be able to see the sun? That is the punishment you get for keeping dust close to yourself. If you keep dust close to yourself, even the great sun will become in invisible to you. Never underestimate the power of the petty, the tiny. If it comes close to you, it gains in power. And if it comes so close that it enters your eye, then all the brightness of the world is lost upon you. A tiny speck, the minutest grain, if it enters your eye, what happens? You are as good as blind. Now all the brightness and all the colors and all the beauty becomes unavailable to you. Do you want to keep rubbish close to you? That is your only duty. To not to let dust come to you. And I repeat, that is the purpose of this camp. To clear away all the rubbish. Hmm? Once the rubbish is gone, the sun will shine. And what will darkness say then? Am I? Where am I? It will find no place to hide. Hmm? Darkness was once chasing the sun to fight. It faced one small problem. Whenever it came face to face with sun, it disappeared. How does it fight the sun? So it adopted a clever means. What was the means? Use a small grain of dust. What all the darkness of the world cannot do, that can be done by having closeness with the smallest particle of dust. All the darkness of the world cannot harm you. But bad company can plunge you into darkness. The sun can defeat worlds of darkness. But even the sun cannot defeat a speck of dust if it has entered your eye. Be very mindful of your company. Even the sun will not be able to help you if you are going around with dust. Hmm? Meet the readings, meet the Buddha. Once you develop a taste for the Buddha, 
you will parallelly develop a distaste for all that is petty and unnecessary. and a cause of sorrow. You will just give it up. You will not feel like continuing with it. Hmm? Those who have tasted great dishes, the most delicious of delicacies, will they enjoy chewing dust The Buddha is the most delicious of all delicacies. Once you develop a taste for the Buddha, you won't want to chew grass anymore. Hmm? We have a very fine culinary tradition at this place. We will serve you the most tempting of dishes. Yes? Wet your appetite. Keep your stomach clean so that it can take in whatever is served here. How do you like the appetizer, by the way? Hmm? Long live the cook. Any of you who keeps a pet, a pet dog? When you take your pet dog outside for a walk, does it start rushing towards piles of garbage by the wayside what happens when your dog is hungry if it has not really been given good food right food then it will put its mouth anywhere like street dogs do hmm? have you seen street dogs if there is a garbage bin somewhere they are found especially close to that place right but if you have a dog in the family it does not quite feel the need to go to garbage And that is the only way to stay clear of garbage. Be full of good food. If you are not full of good food, then you will be tempted to go to garbage. Hmm? This that you have in your hands is good food. But it is possible that we have developed a taste for oily and junk food. And then good food might not appear initially attractive. Then we will keep patience. 
then we will say let me persevere. Fast and fried food appears attractive but destroys you. Hmm? Just because something is apparently attractive, one does not blindly rush to it. Think it. One must have discretion. One must know what is really good for her. Right? Otherwise, what is the difference between a girl and a chemical? Do you know how a chemical behaves? Ever been to the chemistry lab? What do chemicals do? The moment they come in touch with each other, they, they just react. And if they are not to react, they just don't react. They remain inert. They do not apply any If they are programmed to react, they react. If they are not programmed to react, they don't react. That is their pattern. They are slaves of that pattern. They cannot break that pattern. Hmm? A girl is not a chemical. She must know with whom to mingle. We said one tiny speck of dust if it is allowed to come too close, it can turn you blind. blind. One does not really react with everything. What You know what does it mean to react? It means to open yourself up. It means to become available for engagement. One does not become available for engagement to everybody. Do you allow everybody to enter your drawing room or your kitchen? Do you? When a stranger comes and knocks, don't you first inquire? Don't you first want to be convinced? Yes? Inquire. Ask. Search, probe. Go deeply into the identity of the other. And you can honestly and deeply go into the identity of the other only when you are in your own pure identity. Your own pure identity is direct and innocent vision. Hmm? When you are direct, when you are innocent, then you will really come to learn the fact about the other. Then the other cannot cheat you. Others are able to cheat us firstly and primarily because our eyes are not clean. Yes? We often ask the question, how do we know whether the other person is true or fake? Right? Is that question often relevant to you? Yes. Hmm? How do we know whether the other person and all the advices that they are giving us and all the things we hear, whether that is fake or genuine? That question bothers us often, right? But that is not really the best question to ask. Before you ask whether the other is fake or genuine, first be genuine. Otherwise, how can you receive a genuine answer being a fake listener? You are asking a question, even if a genuine answer is meant to be given to you, how will you receive it? 
do not inquire so much into the genuineness of the other firstly be genuine yourselves if you are genuine then you will genuinely know the reality of this world keep yourself clean hmm don't be affected don't be biased easily you are not obliged to be dominated by anyone you have your own intelligence that is the biggest gift one is born with do not feel shy of sharply probing into anything yes do not become a victim to propaganda it will be magical you will be amazed at the turn around when you change the quality of the people who are coming to you immediately changes if you are dirty you attract only flies and more dirt if you are dirty what do you attract flies the moment you go and take a bath better people start coming to you if somebody is stinking do you feel like hugging him when you change the quality of your company naturally changes it's almost like magic it's there in your eyes those who used to pester you and bully you when they come to you after you have changed they look into your eyes and just withdraw they know that something has changed they know that now this girl is no more the same maybe she is carrying the same name maybe she is carrying the same face but something about her has definitely changed and now we cannot mess with her are you getting it it's magical just by looking at you people start respecting you and the converse is also true if you are drunk and uttering nonsense then even those who are otherwise sane will now come and utter nonsense to you if a man is drunk and uttering nonsense will you go and talk the bhagavad gita to him to the one who is uttering nonsense there is only more nonsense from the world and if a man is sitting and calmly and wisely talking of the bhagavad gita will you dare talk nonsense to him will you that's what nobody will talk nonsense to you if you are wise there will be something in your eyes there will be something in your being that will bring all the right people to you and drive away all the wrong people let me rather put it this way there would be something about you that would enable people to show only their right faces to you hmm even people who are otherwise very lost and influenced and conditioned when they will come to you they will start talking wisdom
what do you want to be like tujuri mal is trying hard to canvas with you he wants to take you to his side want to join him he has a lot of riches and there are lot many like him so he is in a majority who do you want to join tujuri mal or buddh sure so tujuri mal is a very fat name but this fellow is otherwise attractive don't you want to join someone who is handsome even if he has no fingers by the way he now has duplicate fingers medical science can do anything don't you want to join this guy tijori mal hmm okay fine give him a more cool name tiju <laughs> don't you want to join him he'll entertain you he'll send you nice things he is contemporary he belongs to your generation he's all over on the facebook hmm he talks the language that is in circulation these days he wears the most funky clothes he knows all the recent songs and the buddha is not really so attractive he has already made up her mind tiju darling <laughs> hmm it's just that when faced with an anguli mal tiju starts looking around for diapers the only force is that of truth hmm that of that which does not get affected by opinions hmm what is truth truth is a firmness that no one can shake hmm truth is a firmness that no one can shake hmm come to that how does one come to that one comes to that by rejecting everything that is shaky all that which can be shaken and disturbed and introduced and deleted by others cannot be the truth truth is something that you cannot disturb or dislodge even if you want to truth is something that you cannot fight and defeat even if you apply your fullest force truth is a great confidence that you have in your heart don't you want to have that confidence or do you want to feel weak truth is that that confidence which tells you that even if no one else is listening to you you are all right 
Oh, you come from Bengal. Ekla chalo. Truth is that in your heart which tells you that even when you are solitary, you are still good. You don't need the approval of others. If others give you company, wonderful. And even if others are not giving you company, you are still in great company. The company of the... I am alright with myself. That is truth. Getting it? Truth is a fire in the eyes. And truth is a coolness in the mind. Both parallelly. These are blessings that you keep receiving here. Hmm? Accept them. All diseases arise from a perceived weakness within. Be greatly sure that you are not weak. Be greatly sure that no one can convince you that you are weak. You are strong. You are good. You need not be dependent on others' opinions. You are not incomplete. You do not require any person to come and complete you. We'll do a role play. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, someday. Darkness has filed a case against sun in the Supreme Court. The only problem is whenever sun is called in the court to testify Darkness is never there <laughs> to raise the allegations. Now sun is there and the judge is saying, Darkness, come over and investigate. How do they say in the court? Well, it doesn't happen in the Supreme Court, but in the trial court. Uh, one can uh, come and examine the other side. Yes, come and examine the sun. And darkness is coming to? Examine the sun. And what happens? There is, no darkness. there is no darkness. So sun is standing and waiting and getting bored. He is saying, come on. Come and examine me. Come and test me. And darkness is unable to test. Question, cross question, whatever. Only sun remains. Nobody to try him. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>